It's a bulldog investigation that will have your jaw dropping. A local housing community stunned to learn their longtime property manager is a registered sex offender. Stunned as well in all of this was the county sheriff's department who had no idea that he was even there. It all came to a head when Chief Investigator Jonathan Carson showed up. This is Christopher Travitz, the property manager at Arbor Village, a Douglasville mobile home park. Or at least he was until shortly after we showed up. Can I ask you a couple questions before you leave? More on that later, but first... Look at the case. He wasn't any friendlier to Better Call Harry, who first tried to question him for a story on how tenants told a judge he turned off their water as punishment for not paying the rent. The judge ordered Travitz to turn the water back on. Those same tenants claim Travitz also tried to persistently enter their home to fix a blind they never asked for. They filmed that. I have a right of access to the home. But a CBS 46 investigation would find he didn't even have the right to work there. We learned this property manager, who held the keys and access to all these mobile homes, is a registered sex offender. Of course I would want to know. But none of the residents we spoke to did know, including this young mother and her husband. At the very least, give your residents a notice. Because what he's accused of is a doozy. He's a former sheriff's deputy indicted by a Cobb County grand jury and later convicted for taking home an inmate and sexually assaulting her. He was sentenced to five years in prison but let out after two. It's pretty clear that he can't be there. According to state law, it's up to the offender to self-report their offender status to the county that they want to work in. Travitz is registered in Paulding County, but Arbor Village is in Douglas County. The sheriff's office there telling us they only learned he was working here from us. It's my understanding that he knew he should have registered. He can't be working inside of a thousand feet of any place where the children might gather. Had he properly notified the county, they would have told him the on-site swimming pool, playground, and nearby church and school disqualified him from working here. But we were troubled to learn there's no law stating an offender or their employer has to report his status to residents. But we thought they had a right to know. Hi, I'm Jonathan from CBS 46. Is the owner in? We felt the owner who hired Travitz had some explaining to do. When reached by his office staff, he refused to comment. But a short time later, word must have gotten to Travitz we were on property because he showed up. Some of the residents here just feel like they should have known about your past. Do you think they should have known? Should you have told somebody? Did you tell the county like you should have? Can I ask you a couple questions before you leave? Why are you still on the property? Why are you still on the property? You're not supposed to be here. Shortly after this exchange and after we left, the sheriff's office says they showed up and found Travitz, telling him to get lost and face arrest if he returns. By law, he can't be there. So I, I guess the law terminates his employment. And that's that. In light of what CBS 46 uncovered, the sheriff's office says they're reviewing what they can do to better police these situations, Sharon. And so it's so scary. All those families yep. living there, Jonathan, what can people do? Well, the GBI says if you don't know who your property manager is, look them up on the registry. If you think somebody is skirting those laws, um, call the sheriff's office and they'll come out and look at it like they did in this situation. Yeah. But it's really up to the people and the offender themselves to self-report. Proactive approach. Bulldog, yeah. thank you. you